Hey man, you see what the ATF trying to do now? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? I'm going on TikTok. I'm gonna post some shit. They're gonna hear this. Oh yeah, and I'm stepping on my right. Oh, that's not what it looks like. I'm guessing you're here for some new FRT news. Let's get into that. I'm Tony with Ninth Garden. And the ATF has decided to issue a statement. I don't know if this is just a ruffle feathers or what they're trying to do, a little saber rattling there, but they have given you three options. This video doesn't need to be super long, but I'm going to give it a little bit of explanation. So make sure you watch the entire video before you drop down in my comment section and you say, Hey, no, man, you're wrong. This guy put out this video the other day. Look, dude, I'm just a dude making a video as well. Anyways, let me explain something. We'll get into the news. So the ATF has given three options. Keep your trigger, turn your trigger in, or destroy your trigger. Now get this, destroy a perfectly legal item that you own, that you bought, that was perfectly legal. How ridiculous is that? Now why would they give you these options? Oh, just, just keep it. Well, why just keep it? I thought you guys wanted it. No, all they're doing is they're doing this to ruffle feathers for the entire FRT market. Now, you know with my previous video that the FRT is with the NFA right now for their judgment on what they would like to do with it. So that means legality of it, ban of it, or taxation of it. Now, uh, somebody in the comment section was dropping something, blah, 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 lawsuits and the appeals. Yes, the lawsuits and appeals are going on, but the same way the ATF has classified it as a machine gun, the NFA is going to be making their decision on what they want to do with it and then when they finally decide and they come out with that notice on what they want to do with the FRT when all of this is over the lawsuits are settled that will be the ruling so if these lawsuits fail you will know what the NFA and what the ATF is going to be wanting to do with these triggers early now I'm sure that's going to be a huge thing it's going to be all over the place so I'm just letting you know now through my contact with the ATF office in Helena Expect a judgment from the NFA and a statement soon. But with the ATF putting out that they would like you to either keep it, destroy it, or turn it in, that's a little up in the air why they would give that option. That's pretty much the option everybody has now anyways. I could keep my trigger. I could sell my trigger. I could turn my trigger in because I'm scared of, you know, big daddy government coming to my house. Or you could destroy the trigger, which... I mean, some of them, they have bad springs anyways, they destroy themselves, but that's here nor there. So anyways, that's pretty much your update. The ATF's just out there saying, you know, pretty much do what you want to do with your trigger. It's not real news, but it's something that's being talked about. So I thought I'd go ahead and bring it up. The most important part is the judgment with the NFA, because as soon as we hear what they want to do, we're going to have a little bit more insight on what's going to happen. So as always, guys, support every local 2A content creator that you have. And make sure you like this video so it gets picked up by larger creators as well. I'm still small on the platform. Production isn't the best, but that's where YouTube started. It wasn't all of this corporate production. It wasn't a whole bunch of mid-level ads, things like that. It was just somebody with a camera and a message. So, as always, like, subscribe. See you guys.